We have many artists during the Sundance Film Festival who are very contemporary. Once in a while, we have an artist who sounds as if they are for all times. I think the piano has something to do with that, but also it's the inimitable songwriting style of Melinda Ortner. Thank Hi. you for being with us. Thanks, Jerry. Me too. It's really nice to meet you and you wonderful to listen to your music. Thank you. Talk a little bit about, as I was listening and as though watching a film, appropriate for the Sundance <laughs> Film Festival, about your approach to songwriting and, and you're so light as Thank we chat. You. Thank you. But the songs have, they're film noir, are they not? A little yeah, bit? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, um, I. I'm a very uh, vision uh, person, visionary person. I have, a, you know, a big imagination. I, I, I used to be afraid of the dark for really like way longer than I want to like admit, you know. And, and so I have, I just like can see like very vivid creatures and things like that. And so I was always kind of uh, drawn towards the darker kind of cinema stuff. I think like that movie Pet Cemetery, like forever ruined my life because I still <laughs> actually still can't sit on a bed without I have to like jump over the edge because I'm always afraid. There's and you know. So anyways, like, I, I take things and, and they, they stick with me. And uh, so I think the movies that I used to watch as a kid were kind of darker. And um, I just always, I, maybe later in life I'll compose for, for like, you know, actual compositions and stuff. But um, yeah, I've just kind of lend myself to that sort of quality and the minor chord progressions. I don't know why, but I'm Absolutely. just so drawn to it. Um, and I, it's nice that you say that I'm a light person. I like to think that I'm like a happy person, of course, but um, I guess I'm, I'm always thinking and, and, and I just think like life is too short to like just have like, like surface stuff. I want to kind of dig deeper, you know? And say what's like really, what I'm really feeling instead of kind of like sugarcoating things, so. Yeah, I, I just want to be as honest as I can. So, sure. Yeah. And you mentioned when we were talking before we started this interview that your music isn't autobiographical, but I think a lot when I listen to artists that, whether it be when I'm sad or as a lot of us do connect yeah. to, like you say, minor chord progressions yeah. and themes and, and shades and tones, is that something that you're conscious of? Do you write for an audience? Because there are artists that have that darker tone for whom there is such a deeply dedicated following. Have you had that experience it's, with people who really connect with yeah. your music? Oh yeah, very much so. And that's why I've kind of picked the UK as my kind of like jumping ground because uh, it's just so, it's been really well received over there. Maybe it's all the rain, you know, <laughs> I don't know. But they just really get more into that in versus, you know, super happy, poppy kind of stuff that this is not my vibe, you know. And I've written songs that are super, like almost made fun of of the task, you know, and then it ended up being a really popular song on on my iTunes and stuff like that. And people love it, and they're like, "Oh, can you do a whole album like that?" And I'm just like, I mean, I can, but it's not like me, you know. And as far as what you're saying, autobiographical, um, I mean, I would say like most of my songs are definitely coming from uh, truth in my life and stories and and you know fears or whatever relationships, um, but. You know, I, I just try and, and be as honest as I can. So I totally lost my train of thought. <laughs> I was going somewhere and I forgot what I was going to say. It's quite all right. It always right. happens. It's quite all right. That's why I write music. <laughs> we definitely got the essence of, to me, the songwriting process in terms of, of where your natural spot is. And it seems to me as though yeah. you have to perform songs once you write them, record them, and take them out. You have to perform them over and over again. And if you can't yeah. live in that space, yeah. As yeah. a performer, oh, I remember it must what I was gonna difficult. say. <laughs> okay, I was like thinking while you're talking. Oh, I'm the worst interview person ever. Okay, so I was, I was just, then I forgot it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's quite all right. Okay, well, no, no, I remembered. Okay. All right, all right. <laughs> so I was just saying when I when I write music, it's not really because I want to impress somebody or I want somebody to um, be like, oh, you know, that's cool. It's just like. I want to go to this court, and that like feels so good to me. Like I just wanted to say that because it's so important as a, as a songwriter, and you know, for other songwriters, like I'm sure they can relate to that. Like you just like I'm more of a 
music person first, then lyrics. Of course, lyrics are, are equally as important, but but this this like this the sonic part is like where do I like feel like I want to go? Because I'm not that trained at all, like classically or anything. You know, really? and I feel like people who who are sometimes are a little more limited because they you know they're so structured. But I just like every there's no rules when I'm just I'm just like I'm just gonna go here, and sometimes I don't know what chord I'm playing, and then I figure it out later. You know, but in a way, it's like gives me this freedom to really go exactly where I want to go. So. That's what I want to say. <laughs> and you're doing so very nicely. Thank you. So behind us we have the cover for Strangers, but I understand yeah. that that's only an EP version of something that's going to be. Yes, yeah. So soon the EP well. is like four songs. This is the full album, and it comes out in April, April 17th. So. Fantastic. Yeah. Are you are you terribly excited? Oh, we have no record? idea. It's like <laughs> been just years and years in the making just one thing after another I couldn't sing for a long time because I had vocal nodule like like a scar stuff like I, I over sang I just did too much and I spoke improperly and so I had to just like completely quit for like five months and I was like right in the middle of my record wow. so yeah this is like a huge long time coming I'm gonna be so excited when it actually just is finally out <laughs> good for you yeah, where can folks you. find the record online um, out iTunes, in the world Spotify Facebook all that melindamusic.com that's really because my, my last name is not as memorable. So melindamusic.com is where you can go, and then it'll have all the links to everything that you need to buy or listen or whatever. Very cool. <laughs> well, for myself, I will always remember the name Ortner <laughs> that goes with Melinda. Awesome. So Thank nice you, to Terry. meet you. Thank it's you really, for your really performance. Awesome to be here. And uh, we'll hope to see you. Your yeah. name up in lights Aww. soon. Thank you. <laughs> Melinda Ortner, it's melindamusic.com. The record comes out in April. Check it out.